It's cost a billion dollars to build. The new United States Embassy in London, which has just been completed, open next month. It's a 12-storey glass cube on the banks of the Thames and comes complete with a moat, the first new defensive moat to be built in England for 150 years. The US ambassador to the UK said the new embassy is a signal to the world that the relationship between the two countries is strong and is going to grow. Richard Lister reports. This is what a billion dollars looks like. The new US embassy in London is said to be the most expensive in the world and almost a decade in the making. Inside, there's a garden of American desert flora. It's all designed to be airy and welcoming, not words usually associated with embassies. I think this is a country of great dignity and it birthed the United States. And this building should be not some pop icon, but certainly, you know, a building of great dignity and serenity. But this embassy is also a fortress. It even has a moat, though they'd prefer we call it a pond. Some of the glass is six inches thick, a reminder that an embassy is the only place where one nation intersects with another. For decades, that's been here, Grosvenor Square. The old embassy's been sold to become a hotel. But it's a place now associated with American triumphs and tragedies. At Grosvenor Square, police warned to expect trouble waited. It was where British people repeatedly protested against the Vietnam War. A huge crowd waited for them at the American embassy. Where well-wishers greeted America's first men on the moon and came to pay their respects after the attacks of 9-11. Now, a new building will represent America. The US ambassador says this glass-clad building represents America's global outlook, giving form, he says, to the core democratic values of transparency, openness and equality. What's not clear is whether President Trump will be at the opening next month, though he has been invited. It would be the most controversial visit by any American president, a moving-in present for the ambassador. Trump is coming when he, when he sets the date for coming. He's been invited for a state visit. He's been invited and he's accepted, but he hasn't set a date. And for the, the ribbon cutting of this and, and taking a look at this embassy, you know, that will be, that will be announced when, when he selects the date. And, of course, the new embassy will outlive this presidency and many more to come.